Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Ubisoft has shown off the gameplay for Assassin's Creed Shadows and given a new promise for Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time in 2026. Although there's still the Nintendo Direct to come at some point this month, the Ubisoft Forward event on Monday otherwise marks the end of this year's not E3 preview season. Unlike the other events though, Ubisoft didn't announce any major new games and spent the majority of their time on just two titles, Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows. Strategy game Anno 117, Pax Romana was the only brand new reveal, although the announcement that The Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time remake isn't going to be out until 2026 makes sense give the recent announcement that development has been restarted from scratch once again. Ubisoft didn't show anything of either game and instead spent the time between the two main focuses talking about updates for their various live service titles, including the recently launched X Defiant, and new DLC for Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, including a new story expansion in September. As for Assassin's Creed Shadows, it got over 20 minutes of gameplay footage, split relatively evenly between Samurai Yasuke and Ninja Nail. It's difficult to pretend it contained any surprises though with the footage starting out with Yasuke as wanders about town, strokes a dog, and then embarks on a mission to take out some corrupt samurai, who are menacing the peasantry. This involves walking a few yards up the road and brutally murdering everyone that tries to attack him, at first using a large club and then whipping out a katana as well. The combat seems to be taking at least some cues from Sikrio, shadows die twice, as enemy weapons flash red or blue to indicate what kind of attack is incoming and how you should react. However, the colors are very distracting and suggest that the action is nowhere near as precise or demanding as Sikrio. At this point you're offered the choice to take out the local daimyo as either Yasuke or Neo, with the demo choosing Neo. This involves some very Tenshu style sneaking around a Japanese castle, avoiding some people, throwing kunai at others, and occasional stabbing people through the wall. The actual assassination involves swimming just below the surface, using a reed as a snorkel thereby getting just about every ninja cliché possible into a 10-minute sequence. It's neither better nor worse than expected but the sheer predictability of it all does seem like it might be a problem, especially as it's going to have to endure constant comparisons with Ghost of Tsushima, which do seem a little unfair as the specific similarities are actually fairly limited. Will Assassin's Creed Shadows be the ultimate samurai-slash-ninja simulator? The odd thing is, Despite Japan's enormous influence on the games industry there's actually relatively little competition, but in the context of other Assassin's Creed games this doesn't seem like it will disappoint. Assassin's Creed Shadows will launch on November 15th for Xbox Series X slash S, PlayStation 5, and PC. Email GameCentral at metro.co.uk, leave a comment below, follow us on Twitter, and sign up to our newsletter. More. Assassin's Creed Shadows splits fans as trailer tops 260,000 dislikes. More, Assassin's Creed Shadows is final name for codename Red Reveals Ubisoft. More, Assassin's Creed Hex out in 2026 and lets you play as a witch's cat. Follow US News Gaming on Twitter and email us at gamecentral at metro.co.uk. Nintendo Direct rumors include Star Fox and Xenoblade Chronicles. Xbox Showcase beats PS5 once again but Microsoft is avoiding the real issues. Black Ops 6 is always online for every mode, Modern Warfare cosmetics won't carry over. Xbox is making a handheld and more multi-format games admits Phil Spencer. To submit inbox letters and readers features more easily, without the need to send an email, just use our Submit Stuff page here. For more stories like this, check our gaming page. Sign up to all the exclusive gaming content latest releases before they're seen on the site.